I have a list here of customers who have purchased a car from a dealership and for each customer that has selected yes for a transport required, I want to move their data, all of this information of them to this spreadsheet over here. But I want to make sure that I don't cut the data from here. I want to keep it over here as well. So how can I make sure that only those customers that have selected yes, their data can be copied over to this spreadsheet over here. We're gonna be using a simple formula, um, a nested formula to achieve this. And let me show you how this can be done in just a simple step. So what we're gonna do here in the transport sheet, uh, which lists all customers that need transport, we're gonna go into equals to filter, open bracket, and then after that, we're gonna choose our array. So what is our array that we're going to be uh, filtering? So we want to return for those customers who selected yes for transport, we wanna return columns A to C and columns E and F. We don't want column D to be in our transport sheet, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and within my filter function, I'm gonna go into another function called choose calls, so choose columns. And the columns are gonna be the customer name, vehicle purchased and purchase date, so column one, two and three uh, and the table is going to be sales data so i'm going to put in sales data because i've already named this table i can simply refer to this table in my formula okay and the columns are going to be one two and three so one comma two comma three and i also want column five and six okay i don't want column four which is the transport required and we're going to go ahead and close that bracket now the include uh, section over here is asking me from this data which rows do I want to include. I only want to include the rows in which column D is yes for transport required. So I'm going to go ahead and go to sales data here and in square brackets I'm going to select transport required and then I'll close the square bracket as well. I want this to be equal to in double quotes yes okay and now if empty so if this is empty then i want to return blank so i'll just go with two double quotes to symbolize that and then i'm going to go ahead and close my bracket and press enter and just like that over here now we have a list of all customers only those who have selected yes for transport required all of their information is now automatically being pulled to this table over here. This table is also dynamic. So let's say we add another customer. So for sake of example, let's say, let's change the name, okay? I'm gonna give it my name here, okay? So Unser has purchased this Ford F-151 and said yes to transport required. So if we go to the transport sheet, we can see my name is right over here as well for this vehicle. Now I can go ahead and change this to a no and my name is now gone from here, okay? So that's how you can pull data uh, and copy it from one sheet to another uh, when, me when meeting certain conditions. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do subscribe and show your engagement by liking and commenting as well. And I'll see you shortly in the next video.